Hey, good morning everyone. Today is Sunday, March 13th, and we have a visitor. We have a visitor, Mark Stern, over there in the background, um, who we saw in a previous video has brought his Model X uh, for me to come and take a look at. That gives you a pretty good um, ingress and uh, an exit. So when I had my car there, um, we had a couple of six footers, six one, uh, that were sitting in the back and said, yeah. you know, that, you know, obviously they wouldn't want to do four hours back there, but they would yeah. have no problem you I know, think being I, in the car. I was one of the, I, cause I'm six foot and I was sat in the back and it yeah. was, uh, it was not too bad at all. Yeah. We had a guy in there that was six one and he said he was fine. Yeah. Um, there is a USB port in the back for the, the rear two seats. Okay. It's in oh, between yeah. the two seats. Yeah. It's, uh, so. Somebody pointed that out to me, by the way. <laughs> um, so it's it's right there at the base of oh, the. Oh uh, yeah, hidden away there. Yep. The base is a little USB port. Uh, cup holders, of course. Yeah. Elon has finally listened. Yeah. Now if he could just figure out how to get a coat hanger on there. Yeah. Um, and that was actually why I stopped by because uh, I was going to pick up one of those aftermarket coat hangers, but it doesn't work in this car yet. All right. <laughs> Let us, let's just go around the other side and we'll open this one as well. So that's the picture everybody loves, the two, yes, the two, the, uh, the two doors up. The two doors up. And, and um, I do have to tell you that, you know, these doors have been opened a great deal, especially, you know, yeah. as I said, everywhere I go, um, people are very uh, interested in seeing it. And I've had virtually no failure. Most of the time when it fails or doesn't open properly, it's because somebody gets so excited that they walk up to the car while the door is opening and the sensors shut it down. Yeah. So it only opens two thirds. So this is what we were talking about. When you move, when you move the rear seat, the front seat moves forward as well. So to give- uh, And actually give it may have been that this one wasn't back far enough in lock because now you're seeing both of them move. Yeah, oh, okay. So, Oh yeah, now they're, they're both going together. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, it only yeah, it was. But to an extent. To an extent, yeah. But you can move it, the middle one completely forward, can't you? When you. Yeah, uh, when the seats more, are back, yes, you can. To get more room. It'll more move as, as much forward as the other seats yeah. will. Yeah. So it's as you w walk up towards the door. Um, you actually get the proximity sensor. There we go. The proximity sensor triggers, so it can uh, it knows there's someone there. That's kind of interesting. So from here, I can. Oh, there we go. Which is kind of cool. It's very practical. So th does this imply that you can open it part way? Correct. Oh, okay. So that's a, that second position, and um, that's, as I said, if you walked up and the sensors detected you, that's the position it would stop at. Right. Unless it was some form of an emergency situation, then it would stop wherever yeah. it was. But that's kind of the two different um, presets. Um, so as you saw, there are two different presets. So Mark is going to open. So that's to the, the first preset. Mark, can you open the other one to the, the full one? Okay, and there we go. Okay, so two different presets. <laughs> Looks like it's in a banked turn or something. Okay, so yeah, it takes probably a foot or 18 inches off the, the height. So the other comment that someone made was uh, um, was about the speed or, or lack of speed on the doors, but it, I, I think they are pretty quick, actually. I mean, I, that is, I mean yes, it takes, you know, but you're not really hanging around for it. That is, that is pretty good. And I, I think that it is actually faster now than when I first got the car. Oh, well, at least yeah, I, well, I feel that. Okay, yeah, and, and I'm sure they're tweaking the algorithm constantly as they get more and more uh, experience with it. Uh, so one of the other things that came up in conversation, this is the, uh, the Falcon Wing door. Um, someone said, um, what happens if you open the door? Does anything fall out of the pockets? Well, there are no pockets in the Falcon Wing door. Uh, there are in the front. Uh, I don't know if you can see quite now. There. I'll, uh, I'll get another shot of that in a moment. Um, there are big pockets in the front doors, but in the uh, 
in the falcon wing doors there are no pockets therefore nothing can fall out of them um, so if we just hop out and open hopefully there's enough light to see there we go um, so there are big pockets in the front doors that actually go quite a long way back there um, but obviously they don't go up in the air so there's no danger of anything falling out um, one of the little things that I don't like, sorry Mark, okay. um, is, um, so the front door handle, um, you, you push, it's got a little clicker switch on it, um, but the, strangely there seems to be only one switch which is in the centre, um, they don't have switches at either end, which means if you get a hold of it, you can actually move the end part of the handle and nothing happens. You've got to push, uh, and, and if you, if you push the handle, the switch is too strong, it, it, the door just kind of moves. The, I believe the recommended technique is to do that. Actually, we were oh, told you, to the front. You, you were told to push the, yeah, see even there, it won't do it. Um, whereas what I was told, and again, I, right. I haven't been told by the DS, but I saw this on the forum somewhere, someone said, if you kind of put your hand around it, right. then your thumb oh, yeah, that closes works. it. So that was didn't close it all the way interestingly um, there we go um, so that I still find a little bit quirky they may well tweak the uh, the firmware on that to make it a little bit more intuitive but I'll be candid with you I close the door myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah who needs to you forget sometimes yeah. that you can just push the door and close it you don't need to do that the so whole and, and it is self-closing so really all I have to do is once I get it swinging you know yeah. the door will latch on its own right so the, the other criticism, which I think is a valid one that people have had, um, is the fact that the, the seats are, you know, a single piece and they don't pivot in the middle. There's no way to fold these down. Um, there's no way to take them out. No. So if you are looking for kind of minivan kind of functionality, you are screwed. I mean, this is, this is not a minivan. This is a super expensive sports car masquerading as a seven seat, you know, crossover SUV. Um, so, you know, if, if, if you want that, then buy your Honda Odyssey or... Right. <laughs> so underneath, uh, he said laying down on the floor, um, I don't know if the video, there we go. So there is a little panel, um, completely flush with the underside of the car, uh, which has got a little uh, quick release on it, or a little uh, key. Um, that opens up, and we, there's a little, uh, little slot inside which accommodates little thing there so um, let's bring this up into the, the sunshine um, so there we go so this is the trailer hitch for the model X um, and it literally just uh, pops up inside um, and then you you twist it to lock it and take the key out and, uh, and there you go so when it's not in use you know the, the bottom of the car is completely smooth um, very elegant uh, little solution I think mark is uh, He's opening it up. There we go. So he's taking the, the panel off. So can I give you that back? Yeah, it's a little heavy. A little heavy. Um, so there we go. So it's just a little. So we've got the. Uh, if we get the right angle on this or not. Uh, so there's the, the electronics connector tucked away out of the way. And then there's a little hitch receiver. Um, with a little cover on it um, and it just plugs up into there some very elegant solution um, okay so there we have it a model x signature um what do we think we think i, I was probably harsh the other day um i think having spent more time with it um it is uh, it's a pretty remarkable vehicle really uh, I, I was telling Mark earlier, I, you get so used to how incredible the Model S is, uh, and there it is in the background hiding away there, um, that you you forget how remarkable these cars are. The fact that this thing, you know, pulls like a sports car, yet weighs 5,500 pounds. Um, you know, is the rear space a little bit less than the Model S when you fold the seats down? Yeah, probably. Um, Um, are the Falcon wing doors going to cause as many problems as, as I suggested they may? 
you know, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But you know, the way that Tesla works on the firmware and, and fixes things, you know, they're going to be on top of that. Um, and everybody that I've spoken to who's got one absolutely loves it. So it's uh, whichever way you look at it, it, it's a pretty incredible vehicle. Um, it uh, it looks great. I must admit, it's. Uh, I think the you know the profile is is wonderful. Um, the uh, the nose I really like actually. The nose I I prefer to my Model S. Um, let's, uh, there we go. Let's get it. Um, so I mean the you know everybody's seen the uh, the grill on the Model S and the dark nose and the rest of it. But um, the uh, the solid. Um, body color nose I I really like I think it gives a um, a much cleaner uh, stance to the Model X than the Model S if I didn't have the Model S I would have had the Model X in a heartbeat right, so let's be clear about that it's only the fact that I've got a Model S and I absolutely love it um, and and earlier this week I had my drivetrain changed because I was getting the, the hum that some people get um, we, you know, it's well documented there have been some problems with the drivetrain on those early cars um, so I, I had my rear motor changed it is now utterly silent I mean and the car performs better than it, it ever did I mean it's like I've got a brand new car again three years in so it's uh, I, I adore that Model S so the fact that I've got that kind of spoils me for this um, but certainly if I didn't have the Model S I, I'd have a Model X in a heartbeat so um, overall thumbs up uh, good job Tesla um, yeah, knock it out of the park. Can't wait and see uh, Model 3.